Such an achievement would comfortably be a new high watermark for Papua New Guinea and crown what is already a historic year. Hailing from Denmark, Seritslev is embarking on his maiden World Cup campaign as a head coach, just a year shy of his 70th birthday. He arrived late last year in Papua New Guinea and quickly determined that the Melanesian nation contains many rough-hewn diamonds amid its plain population. For me, uh, I actually think we, we will have a very balanced uh, squad if, if you are thinking of, uh, on one hand, uh, younger players and on the other hand, uh, some experienced players. Uh, I'm sure we will have a balanced squad. Almost the entire national team players took part in the OFC Champions League, featuring for other perennial champions, Hikari United, or new challenges, Lay City Dwellers. That many players are spread across just two clubs is a blessing for Siritslev. We were challenged on highest level in, uh, in the region, so it has really been a good experience for the players and also for me. Comparing uh, our national team players to uh, the national team players uh, from the other teams uh, in the region, I'm very confident uh, that we can make good results when it comes to uh, the Nations Cup. Sereslev will take his PNG side on a rare trip outside Oceania when they head to the Republic of Korea for a two-week camp. Papua New Guinea have a modest track record at continental level, but their experienced Danish mentor believes there is cause for optimism. To compete on higher level, it takes much more matches than we are playing here at the moment. But let's see, um, it's my feeling that uh, Papua New Guinea is developing uh, step by step. His assistant coach and former PNG striker Reginald Davani also has faith in the cause in a sign that is slowly beginning to find its feet on the international stage. It's this generation of players that we have. Um, when the National League started, they were all in the early 20s. They were all uh, young players coming through. Through that time, international games, playing uh, OFC club level, um, they're hitting their peak now. I think it's a very good, good group that we have now. The Nations Cup, the Continental Championship, doubles as a 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifying stage where six of the eight teams will advance to the next level. Prize on offer and one more difficult to attain is the title of Continental Champions with a ticket to the FIFA Confederations Cup Russia 2017, the rich reward on offer. Jeremy Moggy, National MTV Sports.